Hello everyone! I'd like to show you today in this video how to use Finale Notepad. This is a program that you can download to your computer at home and use from there. You don't have to use it on the internet. Be sure if you are going to download this program that you have an adult that can help you because it is going to ask for an adult to be in charge of the download. Once you have it downloaded, you click into the program and it'll open up and give you a screen that looks like this. It wants you to set your title first. So in this case, I will set a simple title. Here, I'll set something kind of not terribly creative, but good enough for now. I'm sure I can always change it later if I'd like. And composer, of course, is going to be you. So you put your name there. Hit next. And then it gives you a choice of adding or deleting instruments. Since we're using this just for the recorder, you go underneath woodwinds and all the way down at the bottom, there's the soprano recorder, which is the instrument that we use. Click add and you're done. So we go down to next. Select your time signature. I'm going to keep mine in 4 4 time. You can select how many measures you want. For this project, remember we want at least 16 measures, and you don't need to change the key signature. Once you finish that, it will give you your piece of music, and you can see everything is already there in terms of how many measures you're going to write. If you look at the toolbars at the top, they look a little complicated at first, but we're really going to be using this toolbar in the middle the most, and not even all of it. Here are all of your different note choices, whole note, half note, quarter note, eighth note, sixteenth note, they even have thirty-second notes, but please don't use those. Over here, whole rest, half rest, quarter rest, and then the smaller rests as well. So once you want to get started, you can see that they have here a purple note that is ready for you. And you can start your song with whatever type of note you'd like. They're suggesting an eighth note. I think I'm going to go with a quarter note. So I will click on quarter note, come back down here. Sure, why not? I'll use a B first. Remember, for this project, you can use any of the recorder notes that we know so far from G all the way up to D. And I'd like you to use a variety of different kinds of notes so that it has some real interest to it. Let's see. Maybe next I will keep going with a few of them. And you have to think what you'd like ahead of time, maybe, so that you can know what to do and what you'd like to use. Something you might want to think about is pre-planning and then coming in and writing your song. It's up to you how you'd like to do it, but I know that for me that usually works pretty well. Anytime you want to change a type of note, you just go up to the top here and you click. So for example, if I want to change this last note that I put in, this G, I can just hover over it and it will change it for me. So maybe I want to make a pair of eighth notes there. If you decide you don't like what you have, you can go back and use the eraser. So if I go up here and click on the eraser, it should give me what I'd like. If I come down, see now it's showing me the eraser with the little arrow. I can point to the note and say, I don't want that one anymore. And it takes care of it for me. So that's a pretty easy way to be able to erase notes and change things that you really decide you don't want anymore. Perhaps instead I want to use a quarter note after all. 
Let's put in a few more notes. So remember, you go back to your measure and you decide what you would like to put and you slide it in. Maybe what I've done is maybe you don't want the note that you've chosen. You can always change it. You could go back and erase it and put it in again. But if you want to keep it as a quarter note, for example, like this one, you just don't want to be, you want something else, you can hover over it and drag it down to where you want it. Or drag it up to where you want it. And that's a pretty easy way to fix it just in case the note type is correct, but you decide you want a different pitch. So let me add in just a few more. How about that last one? Why don't I make that a half note? Now, if I want to go and listen to what I have so far to see if it's any good, I can go up here to this little area and it shows you that you can press play, you can rewind, you can fast forward, you can even choose which measure you'd like to start on. Now, since I only have a little bit written, I want to start from the beginning, so measure one is perfect. I just press play and then I can hear what I have created so far. And stop it once I'm done so it doesn't just go all the way to the end of all of those blank measures. Now, maybe I decided I don't want some of this to sound the way that it did. Remember, again, you can change it a couple of different ways. You can change the note type itself by dragging it up and down. You could also use the little eraser. It's up to you. I think what I will do is I will erase this one and I will change this one to that. Just remember, you're gonna wanna keep saving your work every so often just so that you make sure you have what you need. Once you do, it's going to bring you to a screen like this, save as, and you put in the title of your song. So I call this my awesome song. And then you hit save. All right. Here's a finished version of my song. You'll notice it does have a different title because I did this one at a different time, but I do want to show you how to save it and also how to print it so that you can give it to me. So if you go up to the top, File, Save, it should save it for you since you already had done File, Save As, and you put in the title of your song. If you want to print it to a PDF so that it's easier to email it to me or to print it out and send it to me, the best way to do that is to go up to File, hit Print, and I already have mine set up for a PDF, but you would go in PDF, select it from your different choices, hit OK, and then hit OK again. It should then give you a place to put your title, and you can hit Save. And it will save it for you as a PDF. This way, you could take this and email it to me, or you could put it on a flash drive, and give me the flash drive and I can pop it into my computer and save a copy for myself. Or you could just print it out on paper and hand me the copy on paper as well. Whichever one works best for you. I'm not picky. You, as long as I get the work, then I'm a happy person.
Good luck with this project. I'm really excited to hear what you come up with. Don't forget, you don't have to just hand it in to me. I also am going to want to hear you play it. So make sure you don't write something that's going to be too difficult for you to play. That would be really sad. You want to be able to play your own work, so make sure you practice it and you're ready to do both when I hear you. Good luck!